Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Vano. So today on Dude Glam, I'm coming at you with my first ever fall -a day list of items, things from around my house that I just can't live without this time of year. I really wanted to share with you guys, especially since Black Friday is literally days away. I think actually some certain stores have started their Black Friday sales early. So some of these products might actually be on sale for Black Friday. This is in no way sponsored. These are just fun things I wanted to hop on here and talk to you guys about. So if you want to see this, definitely go ahead, subscribe, and let's just jump right into it. All right, I have to first start off by saying that I can't believe that this year is almost over. I feel like I've been in some sort of weird time capsule. It's like things are moving at a snail's pace and all of a sudden I'm being like slingshotted through four different months. It's just blowing my mind. I can't believe Thanksgiving is in just a few days. And then after that is Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or whatever you celebrate. And boom, we are in a new year, you guys. I hope everyone out there is staying safe, sending all my love and light to everyone out there. And I just hope we can all get through the rest of this year together collectively and just breathe a sigh of relief. I know that things are still getting crazy out there, but we got this, you guys. Anyway, let's just jump right into it. I wanted to pull together a few items for you guys and just show you some things that I have really been loving, especially now that it's starting to get colder out. I've got some hair products, skincare, music, photos, just like a bunch of different things that I really enjoy and bring joy to me. So the first product I have here is by Dove and this is for men, but I feel like women can use this as well too. Anyone can use this. And this is their Blue Eucalyptus and Birch Body Wash. You guys, this stuff is amazing. I picked this up randomly at Target maybe two weeks ago and I am hooked. I love that it's a micro moisture, so it has like those little beads in there too. So when you lather it up, you kind of get a little exfoliant on there as well too, but the smell is what is so amazing. For any of you out there who really like those kind of natural smells, this is a great one because it's not too overpowering, but the eucalyptus and the birch just open up your senses and it's so invigorating. And I just find that it's so calming. I'm not really the kind of guy that's into like coconut scents. I mean, sometimes I'll do coconut maybe like in the summertime, but overall through the entire year, I'm probably gonna stick with this one because it just opens up my senses, it awakens me, and it just brings a sense of calm and just mm, peace to my brain as I am bathing. So you guys go check this out. I'll link everything down below as much as I can, but this I got at Target and it was well worth the money. So Dove, you got a winner. Now sticking in the vein of self-care, I really wanna share something with you that has helped my hair, especially now that it's getting drier out. This has really helped my hair stay hydrated, kept my curl pattern, which is very amazing, but it hasn't made my hair feel greasy, which is also really important to me. And that is the Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate and Repair Multi-Action Leave-In conditioner and it is by Shea Moisture and this is what it looks like. I also got this at Target, but you can get this pretty much anywhere. I mean, I've seen it in like Ross, Marshalls, Target, I mean, they're just everywhere. So I will link down below from Target where I got this. It says it is a restore, prep, and protect for extremely dry and brittle hair. Now I'm not saying I have dry hair, but when it gets drier outside, my hair does tend to lose moisture a little bit easier. So this really helps protect it. I don't really keep it on my roots that much because I do get oily pretty quick up there. I like to spray through the mid and ends of my hair and it is just heaven, you guys. I feel like this also helps extend the length of my hair in between washes. When I just add a little bit of this to my second day or even just right after the shower and kind of massage it into my hair, this thing is epic. And it just makes my hair so soft and silky. Just be aware, you guys, that the texture, it might not look like you're getting a lot, which I didn't realize the first time I did this. So I douse my hair in it. But in fact, just like that you're getting a massive amount. So be aware that you need to really control the amount that you put on your hair, because if not, you're really gonna get cakey and oily really quickly, which I learned the first time, so don't do that. Next up, I have a texturizing spray that I just came across recently, and this has been a game changer when it comes to me wanting to have a little bit more <laughs> texture in my hair. I have pretty fine hair, I have a lot of it, but I have pretty fine hair, so when I apply this, right before I do like a curl or even after just to get a little bit more of a grit, it holds and it gives my hair so much just like, mm, like 
he is not here to play. So this is by OGX Beauty Pure and it is their Aspen Extract Texture Spray. I don't know if any of you guys have used this. I just came across this. I don't know why I haven't used this before. It's black and gold. I mean, literally my two favorite colors. It is a dry texture finishing spray and it is with Aspen Bark Extract and Sandalwood. So it smells amazing and especially like sandalwood in the fall and winter times it just gives such like a cozy vibe and it lingers in your hair a little bit so you get this just kind of like nice little drift of sandalwood as you're walking around it is so nice you guys i picked this up at walgreens and i'm pretty sure you can find it at a bunch of other locations i will definitely link this down below for you guys go check it out if you're looking for a good texture spray because this is just life Lastly for hair, and this is now kind of transitioning into more of the fragrance part of the video. This is the Kaoli Deja Vu White Flower Hair Mist. I had to talk about this, you guys, because this is just a fantastic set. I'm gonna link above my Kaoli Deja Vu White Flower review on their fragrance. This is literally the same thing, but just in a hair mist. And, oh, it smells so mm, good. It is so just light and airy and has a very refreshing vibe. I think this is totally great for any season, fall, winter, spring, summer. This is so nice and it's so light. For any of you out there who is looking for more of like a lighter scent, something where you don't wanna to feel too bogged down with a fragrance, this is amazing and it's alcohol free. So you can put it on your hair, it's not gonna dry your hair out and it is gonna leave just the most beautiful, light, lingering, white flower smell as you wander around. Or maybe like if you're going to bed, oh my God, this just, like I sprayed it once and I just feel so, mm, like I feel so comfy and I can't wait to pair this also with my Kaoli Musk. Like, stop right now. That is a match made in heaven. Ugh, this is just such a calming and just light, airy scent. And I think this is actually gonna be on sale during the Huda Beauty Black Friday sale. So go check out the website. I'll link it down below and grab it while it's still going because this is a great gift for yourself or maybe for someone you love. And I think this also comes in a like little gift set they have too. So go check it out. Kaoli Deja Vu White Flower Hair Mist. And you know what, while we're here, Oh, all right, on to the next fragrance in this video. This is a fragrance that I have just loved over the past year. I got it when it first came out last year and I've slowly taken my time wearing it because I love it so much. I didn't want to go through it right away. I really wanted to just enjoy it. Also, I cycle through a lot of scents, so that might also be why it took me so long. But anyway, this is by Jennifer Lopez and it is Promise. This is her newest fragrance that came out last year and it has such like a nice woodsy spice to it, but it's not like flower bomb spice. It's not super, super spicy. It just has some really nice undertones of spice, which I think complement the fall and winter months so well. You can get this at Ulta and I think a few other places, but honestly, like, oh, it's so nice. There's a little bit of a floral scent to it as well. So like a, a woodsy floral spicy scent, I would say. It's so nice and it comes in different sizes. This is the small one because I didn't know what to expect. So I just wanted to try it out. I mean, I'm almost done with it. So obviously I liked it. So if you're looking to try something that's a little bit more like floral, woodsy and spicy for the winter times, check out this one because it is really, really good. Oh, sorry, J Lil, I know, I know we're coming to the end here, but I mean, I'll probably repurchase it. Like, let's be honest. <laughs> Next up is a fragrance that I got on Sephora randomly and it comes in a pack of two. This is by Moschino and it is their Toy 2 and Toy Boy mini fragrance set. Look how cute this is. I'm gonna just take this off real quick. Look at how cute. They're little bears, you guys. Isn't that adorable? So this is the more feminine scent and this is the more masculine scent. Let me just take these out first so you can see them. Oh my God, look at these two little bears, you guys. These are so cute. The only thing I don't like about this is that I do wish that they had a spray. I know that they have like a travel size that they are selling on Sephora now. This is literally just a cap with the fragrance that just comes right out. So if you're not careful, you spill it. But anyway, so the Moschino Toy Boy, it has a really spicy scent to it. I think it's great for the winter time. I wouldn't wear this in the summer. There's too many deep notes to it. For Toy 2, it's very light. It has a little bit more of like a lemony scent to it, so it's very awakening. I don't think Toy 2 is that fall winter oriented, but definitely the Toy Boy is very, very fall winter. So they kind of complement each other. Like 
you've got your winter scents here and then you've got your summer scents here. But fragrance is very, very specific. It might work well for you in the winter time, who knows? This is only like $20, I believe. So if you're looking for just like a cute little tester, I mean, you can see how much product you get in there. It's not a lot. You get five milliliters in this or 0.7 fluid ounces. So it's not that much, but it's enough just to get you, oh, it's kind of smelling a little soapy now. It's like a lemony, soapy smell on me. It's very interesting. It's definitely a very like awakening scent. Maybe you could use Toy 2 when you're just getting ready to go for like a jog or something and it's pretty brisk out. It kind of awakens your senses and gets you all perked up. <laughs> so I wouldn't really want to wear this like to Christmas dinner or something, but Toy Boy, this is a total fall winter scent. It's very deep, it's very musky. It's not overpowering, it just like sits very low in the sinuses, if that makes sense. What the hell does it sit so low in the sinuses? But <laughs> it has like a very deep, rich, earthy vibe to it, which I think lends itself very nicely to the fall and winter months. All right, last up for scents, this is a body mist and I wanted to include it because I know that there are some people out there who still like to keep up with that beachy vibe. And I wanted to include this because I think that this could pair really nicely with like a very kind of sexy, sultry fragrance. Like this could be a great base or maybe you're just looking for something that is super, super, super light and something that will kind of not last that long, but just gives you that little bit of like a mm, right away. This is by Sol de Janeiro, and this is their Brazilian Crush Hair and Body Fragrance Mist. This thing is amazing. I actually got it in a set over the summertime. It came in this little cute package. This was the body mist, and it came also with their full size lip balm. And when I say, Oh, this is an amazing coconut scent. I'm really not one to go near the coconut scents. I'm very picky when it comes to the coconut scents because I feel like a lot of the times it can just get way too sweet or just way too like manufactured smelling in a way. But this, oh, this just has like that perfect blend of beach and coconut. You know, we're all stuck in the house. You need a little vacation. Just throw these on and you're like in Brazil on the beach, put on a nice good mix of like beach music and you are good to go. This I do not believe comes in a set anymore. I think they're all sold out, but you can buy them individually. I'm almost out of these, which is obviously telling you that I really like this. And well, you know, I'm actually done with the chapstick here. Like this doesn't even, do you hear that? I'm pretty much out of the chapstick, but I have a little bit of the body mist left and Oh, it's kind of mixing really nicely with white flour. We just gotta try this out. All right, ready? Oh my God. All right, so this next product is my last one for the body and this is by Vaseline. It is their Lip Therapy in Rosy Lips and you guys, when I tell you, this just smells so good. I got this at the 99 cent store, you guys. So grab them while you can because sometimes things at the 99 will then end up at like higher end retail stores. So you won't be able to find this for a dollar. I got tons of these. I have one in my bag. I have one next to my bed. I have one in my car. I love this scent. It smells so fresh. It smells clean and it smells like real roses and it's by Vaseline. So you're gonna stay moisturized and hydrated right through the winter. I have two more scents to go over with you. These are candles, and then we're gonna move on to the next part of this video. So the first one I have here, this candle I bought randomly at Target when I was just in there probably buying the Dove Men's, and this is the Charcoal and Black Teak candle with notes of birch and lavender. This is what it looks like. You can get it at Target and it's a three wick. I just started to burn it. It's by, who is this by? This is by Threshold. Oh, and it just has this like, very warm, cozy vibe. I'm not one to do like cinnamon and like the spicy or like the very sweet or like the vanilla, I can't stand those. I need my candles to be either like very kind of sandalwood-esque in a way or very fresh. I'm loving this one right now because it has the slightest scent of lavender to it and it is so calming, especially at nighttime, like when I'm getting ready to go to bed or if I'm just kind of laying in bed watching TV and I just wanna kind of calm my mind, this is the candle for me right now and the charcoal and the birch, just kind of like with the eucalyptus in a way for me, it just has this very like, it opens my senses, it calms my senses. It's just relaxing and I really like that. And it just has this 
sense of warmth to it without needing to be like sweet and you know overpowering in that way so for those of you out there who really like those warm cozy smells with your candles but don't like it to be over saturated with just like sweet and just all that nasty shit i got you all right so the next one i have here and this is a gem i actually bought three of these because i'm probably going to be burning these the most throughout the winter seasons. This candle is like the epitome of winter. First of all, I'm from the East Coast, so we take our winters very seriously. I'm from Maine, so you know it is a serious business with our winters. That being said, I come from a state that has an overpowering smell of pine, right? We just have a shit ton of pine trees in our state, and it's just something that I've grown up with and become very accustomed to. I think that's why when I have my kind of fresh scents. I need them to be very specific because Maine is very much like an outdoorsy, fresh smelling state. So those types of scents just remind me of home. This one, you guys, oh my God, when I smelled this and then burned it in my house, it was like I was stepping into a pine forest and it was so beautiful. This scent is beautiful. Okay, let me just shut up and tell you what it is. This is by Cloud9. It is their Emerald Pine and Bergamot three wick candle. I got this at Home Goods, and I'm telling you, if I can find a few more of these in stock up for the rest of winter, I'm gonna do it because I am burning this one nonstop. And I burn this one a lot in my living room. I love walking through my house and just having that scent of pine. And for any of you out there who know how difficult it is to find a pine scent, that is fresh and just literally captures the essence of what pine really is and it doesn't smell manufactured like i can't get over that manufactured smell it just drives me fucking nuts this you guys is absolutely amazing i cannot stop raving about this candle if you have a home goods near you go check it out i'm gonna try and find a place online that might sell these and link it down below just in case you don't live near home goods but if you are near home goods and you want to grab something quick obviously don't be out there too long just go and go out tell them vano sent you you get this candle and then head back to your house this is the most amazing pine candle you are ever gonna find this is winter in a jar for me like i said before None of this is sponsored. These are literally just things that I have loved as we've gone into the fall season. <laughs> I wish I had a code for you. It's probably my subscriber account, but you know what? We're working on it. So go ahead and subscribe because you know you want to. My throat's feeling a little parched after all this talking. Next up, I have a beauty product that I purchased at Macy's last year, right after Black Friday, I believe. And this came in a set. I don't know where the other part of it is. I will link it down below if I find it, and I'm pretty sure you can find these on Amazon as well too, but this is this cute little silicone heart, and this is to clean your brushes, you guys. So it has all these different patterns here, and you just dip your brushes in a little bit of soap and water and swirl it around, and look, you can just hold it like that on your hand and swirl it around. It's so cute, it's so compact. You can bring this with you wherever you go. If you're a makeup artist or if you're just someone who does your makeup often, this is a great thing to have. And the set that it came with was like another big silicone piece. I think it's for like putting in the sink or something of a flat surface. It has like the same sort of little um, texture to it. It's just a little bit bigger so you can really get in there and swirl around. This is a little bit more handheld, obviously like it's in your hand model, like get it together. But this is a little bit smaller, a little bit more compact. So it came with a set. Again, I'll try and link it down below, but this is great. And I definitely use this a lot when I'm cleaning my brushes. So this is really nice to have. Last up, I have to share with you the set of lashes that I found. And these have like changed my eye game. They fit my eye shape really, really well. And it's like, you know when you find lashes that just fit your eye beautifully, like, it's a match made in heaven. So these are match made in heaven for me. This is by House of Lashes and it is their Midnight Lux Lash. They're super fluffy. They're super kind of like cat eye and they're very 3D. They're just gorgeous. And what they do is just like open up my eyes and give me this very kind of like cat eye, just sultry look. I will put a picture right here of me wearing the lashes so you can see what they look like in action. They just completely transform my makeup look and I am hooked on these so house of lashes midnight lux i just had to shout them out because these are an amazing set of lashes now obviously in that photo you just saw you're like how did you get that beautiful light on you vano like that couldn't have been just a flash from your phone no this is a purchase i got on amazon and it is just like a portable ring light and charger it has three different light settings 
One, two, three. This is perfect for on the go when you wanna take that selfie, if you're not here in the studio, or like if you're doing an interview or whatever, this is super, super handy and it comes with the charger. So you never have to run out of battery and it just clips on your phone, the top of the phone like that. And then you turn it on, take your selfie and go about your day. This is a great stocking stuffer, I feel like, for anyone out there who just needs a little bit more glam in their life, especially since we are in the house, this is a great thing to have. Next up in the like techie vibe that we're going on right now is this six foot cord from, who is this by? Insignia. This is a charging cord for all of my iPhone users out there. This thing is massive. This is safe to use with your Apple phone. And I got this, I believe it was either Best Buy or Rite Aid, but I've had this for almost a year now. And this is amazing to have by the bed or if like I'm out in the living room, it's six feet. So you're never gonna run out of space to just like grab your phone and have it while it's charging. This is a lifesaver. I'll try and find a link somewhere and link it down below. But for any of you out there who still have those small cords from Apple, Use that for your car or something. I mean, all of you are Bluetooth at this point. I still use like my little iPod. I'll get into it maybe in a story time, but I love my little iPod mini. So I always have that in my car, but I don't even know why I'm going into this right now. But anyway, the Insignia cord for iPhones, it's amazing. I love it and I just had to share it with you guys. All right, I have four products left. We're getting near to the end, you guys. Next up, I wanted to talk to you guys about an album that dropped and I have had this on repeat ever since it came out. I was really hooked on the album artwork when it was being teased back in July, I believe it was, but it is a banger album. I think right now we all just need a little bit of joy and this album does it, like hands down, it is amazing. It is the album Disco by Kylie Minogue. This is a banger, like oh, look at that artwork too. This is her deluxe album. I'm actually gonna get this frame because it also came with a signed card from her as well. And this album really has done a lot of good for my mental health. It's like new age disco. It's total Kylie Minogue. If you don't know who Kylie Minogue is, can't get you out of my head with that white jumpsuit. It was legendary, it was iconic. Like, you need to get into Kylie. She is the green fairy, the absent fairy who has come to life. That's a Moulin Rouge reference for all of you who don't know. I have just associated Kylie as like the green fairy for years now. And she just is like the epitome of joy. It totally embodies the idea of just like escapism and fun and light. I mean, literally she's holding light in her friggin' hands, you guys. Like this album is a banger. And I haven't come across an album in a while where so many of the tracks are like standalone tracks. You know how like when you can listen to an album and you can hear like, okay, they've got the lead single, then they have like a few tracks in there that are like decent hits. And then you've got like those filler songs. This barely has any filler songs in it, you guys. I love too in her interview, she was saying that she recorded this pretty much in quarantine. So the fact that she was able to put out such a joyous album in a time where there's just so much darkness in the world, Kylie is the light that we all need. You can find light in dark places all over. And if you're like Kylie, you can hold light in the palm of your hand. So good on you, Kylie. Next up, I have this picture frame that I wanted to show you guys. And I know this is like a super random thing to have in here, but I love the style of this frame. I'll just hold it up and show you guys. So it's this floating glass frame and I found it, oops, the photo's kind of moving around. That's me skydiving. <laughs> but I found this randomly, again, at HomeGoods. It was a HomeGoods find. I don't have the name of the company right off the bat here, but you can find these at HomeGoods and I'll link below their company website and you can order these online from them as well too. But I think this is just such a cute gift to give someone. They're super, super fun. They're pretty inexpensive and I think they make a great gift for anyone out there. And since we all can't be together right now, I feel like it's something very thoughtful and personal. Again, I can't remember the company name right off the bat, but I will list all of information down below so go check them out this is just it just brings me so much joy and I mean like this photo in itself me being thrown out of an airplane so that was an amazing moment in my life and I will link it above if you want to check that out all right on to the last two products so this is a product that is very sentimental to me my father introduced this to me when I was a kid and it's something that we kind of bonded over and then I was reintroduced to it five or six months ago and I couldn't believe I hadn't thought about it in years. This is a card game and it is called Skippo. This card game is so much fun. I'm really not gonna get into the details of it but it's a very, 
I mean, I'd probably say like it's a pretty simple card game, but it's great for the family. It's great for like couples. So I know that we're all kind of in our houses right now. There are people who are going out traveling across the country. Definitely stay safe, you guys. Wear your mask, be protected. But for those of you too who are just staying home or staying put with your loved ones or people who you are quarantining with in your house, and you're just looking for something fun to do during the holidays, Skippo is a great holiday game. We used to play all the time at Thanksgiving with my family in Ohio, and then my dad and I would play just like card games here and there, sometimes maybe like after school or whatever. It's just like a fun kind of bonding game, and it's just, it's, it's a lot of fun. So I think you can pick this up also at Target or Walmart. I highly recommend Skippo. And for those of you out there who do know what Skippo is, leave a comment down below and tell me just how amazing it is because we need to let these people know. Oh, okay, you guys, we made it to the last product in this video. This is probably my tried and true necessity, especially when it comes to filming these videos or getting some bomb photos and selfies. It is the Ring Light by Newer, and I'm gonna show it to you in a second because I actually use one from my backlight here. This is the case it comes in, and it comes with a stand. It also comes with a more warm tone panel that you can put on it. It also comes with this as well. So you can put your phone in here and clip it and attach it to the inner part of the ring light and take some awesome selfies. And then it also comes with this little cute red remote. I don't know why it's not in this bag right now, but it comes with a little red Bluetooth remote. So you can connect the Bluetooth remote to your phone and stand away so you can take hands-free selfies. I have two of them. I use the 18 inch ring light here that is holding my camera up. And then I use another one behind me for my backlight. So I'll just show you my backlight one. So this is the 12 inch ring light. These things are amazing. They're a lifesaver. They don't get hot. They don't need batteries. So you just get one and you're ready to take the best selfies of your life. Like I said, we're in the holiday season now. It makes a great gift or like last year when I had my holiday fondue party with my really close friends, I set it up so we could take some awesome group photos. Like there's just so many different uses for this. At my 30th birthday, I set this up and we had like a little photo station. I'll post a photo here so you can see what it looked like. But yeah, this thing has come in handy so many times and I highly recommend not just if you're doing YouTube, but for anyone who just needs a little bit more light, like maybe if you're on a Zoom call or something, you could get this and just have like some bomb lighting while you're on your Zoom call. There's just so many things you can do with this. So I highly, highly, highly recommend these and they're pretty inexpensive, honestly, for the bundle. I got it on Amazon and they have been a game changer when it comes to filming these YouTube videos and taking my selfies. So yeah, just wanted to share this. I'm pretty sure that a lot of people already know about this, but I feel like I need to talk about it because we are all at home right now and this is something great to have at home. All right, you guys, well, that concludes my first ever fall day video of products I just can't live without now that we are entering the fall and winter seasons. If you like this video, definitely subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you are gonna go out and purchase any of these. I wanna hear from you. Again, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you like some of the products that I pulled together for you guys. I tried to get a mixture of like high, mid, and low products and things that are easily accessible, things that you can get online if you don't feel safe going out and for those of you who do go out a little bit more things you can go out and just kind of pick up quickly and get back to the house so I hope you enjoyed it I hope everyone out there has an amazing Thanksgiving and a wonderful holiday season and continues to stay safe we can get through this together you guys I know it's difficult like I'm there with you but again I just I really want to send all my love and and just positive energy and thoughts to everyone out there so if you can feel it ah <sighs> We're gonna get through it together, you guys. Again, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate everyone who comes on here and takes the time to watch these videos and experiences this journey with me through music, art, and fashion. Definitely go ahead and subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you in my next one. All right, bye guys.